this is intimate. Oh, wow, this is, oh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, God, okay, it's getting messy, it's getting messy. Oh, I'm so nervous! I feel like I'm like a 12-year-old getting her period all over again. Okay, it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. Hey, babes, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. It is that time of the month, folks. Literally. <laughs> so, in my most recent feminine hygiene video, which if you haven't seen, I will link it in the description box down below, I told you guys that I've been meaning to try a menstrual cup. It's time. It's that time. First things first, I gotta do my research and figure out which menstrual cup is for me. I was looking up videos, um, articles on all the different menstrual cups, and let me just tell you, there's a lot. There's Diva Cups, Salt Cups, Ruby Cups, Lynette Cups, organic cups the list goes on and on so I'm just gonna take a quiz to figure out which cup is right for me I have no idea how this quiz is gonna figure out the insides of me that well to know which cup is for me but we're gonna give it a try so I found this quiz and I love quizzes like I always take the quiz you know you know that little ad will pop up which sex in the city character are you like I just have to know um, I love a good quiz. Anyone else out there? So I found this website called Put a Cup in It. Select your age, 18 to 25. Have you carried a baby to term? No. Lunette cup. Based on your answers, you should use a cup that is a bit on the smaller side, but not extremely so. We suggest a small cup in Lynette, Lena, Salt, or Ruby. So we are gonna go to Target and probably end up getting the Salt cup. I will link a bunch of cups down below in the description box. <laughs> Let's go to Target. I'm so nervous! I feel like I'm like a 12 year old getting her period all over again. Okay, it's fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay folks, we made it to the feminine hygiene aisle and right up here we have our cups. So this is Cora Flex Diva Salt. That's the one I was gonna get. Flex again. We don't know what that is. Okay, so salt it is. Am I a pink girl or am I a blue girl? I mean, I feel like pink might, you know, hide the actual color, but also I think I'm more of a blue gal. So I think I'm gonna commit to the blue life. But now I'm like, wait, do I need this? This is a cup wash. Look at this packaging, guys. I mean, the salt packaging compared to like the Diva Cup, Diva Cup is like 90s. Lisa Frank, you know, preteen packaging. This is like anthropology packaging, you feel me? And by the way, this price kind of threw me, but then I was like, wait, I can use this for like 10 years. $12 cup wash? Do I need that? Okay, so I just went on Amazon to see if this salt cup wash is like the real deal. And everyone is like, oh my God, it takes all the stains out. It's a game changer. If you have a cup, you need this. And like, they sold me. They sold me. So I'm buying a $13 cup wash. Okay. That's what's happening right now. Also, this just in. Um, apparently, it's not just picking a color. <laughs> um, blue is actually size regular, whereas pink is size small. So I am going to commit to the small. So these are my two baddies I'm taking home. My salt cup wash and my salt menstrual cup in a size small. Let's do this. We are back from Target. We've got our goodies. And sorry, the light keeps changing. So... <laughs> just bear with me here now why did I want to try a menstrual cup to begin with you might be asking yourself number one finances buying tampons is expensive like each box is eight seven dollars and that lasts you one to two periods I read an article recently that says that a woman spends roughly six thousand dollars by the end of her lifetime on feminine hygiene products so this salt cup retails for almost thirty three dollars but you can use it for up to ten years so while the upfront fee is higher than your typical box of tampons, I mean, you're gonna be saving a lot of, lot of money in the long run. Another big reason I love the concept of a menstrual cup is that you are reducing your waste. I mean, think about just how many boxes we've put into the earth, how many tampon boxes, pads, um, the tampon plastic. I mean, it is just so much waste over your lifetime. So the possibility of having zero waste for the next 10 years is revolutionary. 
Another reason I like the concept of a menstrual cup is that you can wear it for 12 hours. Whereas with a typical tampon, I believe you're not supposed to wear it past eight hours or it can cause toxic shock syndrome, which is very, very dangerous. And the final reason I am excited to put this menstrual cup to the test is that it's natural. There's no chemicals that I'm putting into my body. Um, this is 100% medical grade silicone. There's no BPA, no latex, no chemicals, no none of that stuff. So. Let's do this. Okay. 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 So I'm not going to lie to your face. This is, this is wider and thicker than I was anticipating. Um, doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, it's, I mean, it's pretty flexible, but it's, it's, it's a little wider and like thicker of rubber <laughs> than I was anticipating. <laughs> Okay, so this is a cute little feature. It comes with a nice little bag, I guess, that you can just like throw in your purse and travel with when necessary. Um, like that's that's nifty. So first things first, it appears that we need to boil it to sanitize it, which makes sense. That actually feel makes me feel a lot more comfortable and confident about putting this in my body. So let's go sanitize this bad boy. I just washed my hands. And now I'm going to go in with the salt cup wash just to be like 3,000% that it is super duper clean. The time has actually come. I'm nervous. I watched some videos. Apparently there's lots of like different folding techniques to get it in. My heart is like literally beating fast. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's just like this is a strong tough piece of rubber like silicone i don't know i'm just i'm just nervous okay okay so i was going to film with one hand my face like as i'm putting it in but now i'm thinking this is definitely a two-hand job so i'm just gonna set you beside the toilet and we'll just talk we'll hang out like i need more support right now i do not feel like a 25 year old woman i feel like a baby right now okay it's fine. We're fine. Okay, so I'm just going to set you guys, like, right here next to me. I'm, like, irrationally nervous, and I don't know why. I think I just need to grow to just, just try it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Like, if I hate it, like, I can just take it out. It's not that big of a deal, right? <sighs> okay. Okay. So I'm folding it in half, and then I'm folding it again. And now we've got this. This is called the C-fold, is what they called it. And you're just supposed to, oh, this is intimate. Oh, wow, this is, oh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, God, okay, it's getting messy. It's getting messy. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're trying again. Okay. So, I'm folding it. And I'm just going to try not and get, not to get, like, you know, frustrated with myself. Like this might take a minute. I mean, this thing is just huge. Okay, it's fine. All right, so, oh God, all right. Wow, this is intimate. Oh, wow, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, it might be in, but now I'm trying to think. The little, the sticky out part is sticking out. I think it's supposed to do that, but now I'm worried, is the cup opened up? Because they said if the cup doesn't open up, then it's not gonna catch everything. Oh God, this is so, this is a, wow, this is really a project, okay? Oh no, it's not, it's not open. Okay, maybe I'll push it higher up to make it open. Okay, I think it might've opened. I just feel like there's not room for this contraption. Okay, it might be in. Oh my gosh! Okay, let me wash my hands. This was a lot, this was so much. Oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. Holy smokes! I'm washing my hands, guys. Don't panic. Woo wow, that was really something. Um, let's sit. Okay, I think it's in. I don't know. Is it? Nobody knows. That was intimate. Like, I mean, I knew what it was gonna be, right? Like, I watched a lot of videos. I felt like I was prepared. But I wasn't. <laughs> And it, I think it's, I think this is going to be good for me. I feel like I'm going to learn more about my body. Hopefully I'll learn if I have 
a high or low cervix like hopefully I can learn more about myself hopefully this can be an educational experience for me um, I'm all about learning so it seems like it's in but in their pictures like the little tip situation isn't sticking out and mine is so now I'm wondering like is it not high enough in there so we might need to figure that out see this is the part that says double check to make sure the cup has opened by running your finger around the outside it's like yo there's no room for that like there's no extra room for that nonsense I feel like this was a good first experience. I mean, I don't feel, I'm like moving around. I mean, I feel great. I don't feel uncomfortable. I can't feel it. No, I can't feel it at all, which is phenomenal. Uh, I was really worried it was gonna be uncomfortable, but it's quite possibly more comfortable than a tampon. In fact, I think it is, cause I can definitely tell when I have a tampon in. Check in on it at the end of the day, I guess. I mean, if I have a spill or a leakage or anything like that, I'm not going to beat myself up. Like maybe, maybe I did it wrong. Maybe it's not like fully locked in. I don't know. This is my first time. But I really wanted for this to be a first impressions video for those of you who have never tried this. Um, or maybe you have and you just wanted a good laugh at someone trying it for the first time. But I really wanted for this to genuinely be a helpful video to maybe those of you who are scared to see me be scared and do it. So yeah. So I'm just going to go live my life. And I guess like tonight when I go to take it out, I would check back in with you guys and kind of do the same thing and kind of give like my final thoughts and opinions. Just go from there. Okay. I'm so proud. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey babes, okay, this is low-key a tragic angle, but I'm not moving. Today's been great. I haven't noticed the cup at all. Um, I have gone to the grocery store, done a lot of editing, some filming. Um, I've been working on a script. I've been moving around and I've been super, super comfortable. I have had no leakage thus far. I haven't seen anything in my the inside of my underwear when I went to go to the bathroom or anything like that. So far, so good. But now it's time to take it out because I'm gonna go to bed in like an hour. I looked on their Instagram for how to remove it and it was saying not to pull the stem, but to move. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. This is very important information. Remember how I was saying earlier that the stem was kind of sticking out a little bit? Okay, that has changed. Things have changed since then. My body just kind of like sucked it in and now it's like not sticking out. Like it just like vacuumed up in there. I don't really know what happened, but things happened. So anywho, it said not to pull it by the stem to get it out, but to like squeeze the base and that that would help it to come out. I don't know, I'm just nervous it's gonna be painful. But, I mean, it's been such a joy today. It's been so easy. Okay, you know the drill. I'm just gonna leave you right here beside me for this super horrible angle. Okay, here we go. It just feels like it's too high up. Um, oh, that's very uncomfortable. Holy mother of pearl. It feels stuck in there. Oh God, it's coming out, it's coming out. Oh, wow. Hot dog in the morning. Wow, it's actually not that much going on. This is truly bizarre, what do you know? Okay, huh. Folks, we did it, we made it, it happened. Um, that was crazy. <laughs> this has been a very interesting day for me. I feel like I've really pushed myself outside of my comfort zone and I don't know, like it feels, it feels good to try new things, so. Okay, I feel like these are my final thoughts. Basically, the putting in and taking out of the salt cup was the hardest part. Um, that's the part that was, I mean, I don't wanna say painful, it was more so scary, but I feel like it would, I think what I'm trying to say is that I'm gonna get the hang of it as time goes on. It's kind of like one of those things with a little bit of a learning curve until you figure out like, what's the best way to do this for your body type and shape and all that jazz. But once it's in, I mean, I didn't experience leaking. I didn't feel it whatsoever. I didn't have to take it out for 12 hours. I didn't wait a full 12 hours, but it definitely had plenty of room for more things going on. There was a lot less blood than I was anticipating, which was interesting. 
To conclude, five things that I wish I knew before starting the menstrual cup process. Number one being to apply water or lube up your salt cup or whatever menstrual cup you pick. It will help it to go in easier. Um, and maybe just, I guess, the first couple times to like, until you get the hang of it, I feel like that would have been very, very helpful for me as opposed to putting a dry one up there. You know what I mean? Next recommendation I would make is to actually do this before you're on your period. Like, I feel like if you were in a pinch, you're trying this for the first time, your period comes, you need to run out the door in three minutes. Like, this isn't the time to learn how to do this. Um, I would do it, I would do it for the first time when you have lots of time, when you're not even on your period yet, like just to practice and get comfortable with it. I would not start this when you need to run out the door and you're in a pinch. The next thing I wish that I knew beforehand was just my body in general. Um, I didn't grow up learning like this is the vulva, the urethra, the cervix the you know so when I was reading all the instructions it was kind of overwhelming I'm I, describing a bunch of body parts that I didn't know I'm a 25 year old woman I should know what this is but I don't so like tomorrow like I'm gonna take some time maybe even right now um and just like look up some diagrams so I really just want to get a better understanding and grasp of my anatomy for myself but for when I use this like so that I can understand where it's going and how it's working and all that jazz. Next has to do with the holes. So there are holes surrounding the top of um, the menstrual cup that create kind of like a vacuum seal. So one, I wish I knew that you were supposed to kind of squeeze like a little bit to like kind of like let some air out and then pull it out. I watched some videos and someone said that because otherwise if you just kind of like pull it from the base, it's going to kind of like vacuum seal just like pop out whereas if you like slowly release a little bit then it's gonna kind of just fall out if that makes any sense um so the holes are very important and with that being said you want to keep these holes clear so when i took it out a minute ago there was a little bit of clotting um right in this hole so just like really getting in there making sure that there's nothing in these holes to prevent um this salt cup from working properly um, is essential. The last thing that I wish I knew beforehand is just simply that everybody is different. Everyone's body is different and you know maybe this cup is right for me. It seems like it's a good fit. Um, I think I just need some more practice to get the hang of it but maybe it's not right for me and that's okay. So I feel like just being patient and realizing that like your first try you're probably not gonna get it. Your first cup might not be the right one. Maybe you need to customize yours and cut the tip. I didn't know that you could do that, um, but maybe you don't need to. Just realizing that everybody's body is different um, and just being like patient with myself. So, cause I can be really hard on myself, so yeah. Okay, this has been such a good day. I will keep you guys updated for sure, um, probably on another YouTube video and on my Instagram as well. So be sure to pop over to my Instagram. It's just India Batson. Um, I will link it in the description box down below. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the menstrual cups? Do you have one? Are you afraid to try it? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Like, let me know your thoughts on all this. I want for this to be a safe, open space where we can talk and we can share and it can just be like, a fun safe girl girl space you know so yeah um it's it's really really important and special to me and i love making these videos um i wish someone made videos like this for me to watch when i was younger so yeah okay i love you guys and until next time i'll see you soon bye be sure to subscribe